What's up guys, JP here, and uh, this is just going to be a review video, but um, first uh, let me explain, give a little backstory about how I discovered this film. Um, so when I was a kid, I used to record a lot of uh, horror movies and stuff off of the TV um, using blank VHS tapes, and uh, you know, I remember Sci-Fi, the, the Sci-Fi channel used to have a lot of good horror movies on their channel, and uh, even TNT with Monster Vision, and um, I remember it seemed like there was just a lot of good horror movies on uh, a lot when I was, you know, growing up. So I used to record a lot of this stuff off of the TV, um, which I'm sure a lot of other people did too back in the, you know, uh, 90s and early 2000s maybe. And um, yeah, so I, 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 I found a box of VHS tapes that was from my... Uh, when I lived in my old house, um, I knew they were there. I just never really got a chance to go through them or anything. And so I finally decided to, you know, just pop them in and see what was on some of them. And um, some of them had uh, stuff written on the labels, others didn't. So, uh, you know, it was kind of fun going through it and seeing what was there, bringing back memories and stuff. And um, I, I had a lot more, but <clears throat> somehow when I moved, um, from that house, uh, they just, I, I never saw them again, um, so that kind of sucks, but the ones that I did find were pretty cool, I found, like, uh, Elm Street 2, um, and, uh, Friday the 13th part, uh, I want to say 5, uh, I, I think it was, f yeah, 5, um, on the same tape and stuff, and, and there was just a lot of cool ones, but I found this one, and, uh, I popped it in, and, uh, first of all, it, 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 it has some, uh, you know, titles on it that are scribbled out, um, and these titles are no longer on it, but I actually can read what the titles were. The first one was a WCW um, 99, so some event in 99. That This must have originally been my uncle's tape because he recorded a lot of uh, um, the pay-per-view wrestling stuff. So uh, then, then under it you have Pet Cemetery, Wishmaster, Wishmaster 2, and Hell... Hellraiser, so, <laughs> um, Hellraiser, obviously, I misspelled it, but, um, yeah, so that was what was on here, but, uh, when I put it in this time, the first film that, it, that was on, on here was, uh, a film that I remember seeing a, a long time ago, so it, it was interesting seeing it again, and I actually totally forgot about what the name of this movie was, and, uh, I just had memories of it in my head, and it's called Rattled from uh, 1996. It was a TV movie. Okay, so let's go into the review. Like I said, the film's uh, title is Rattled from 1996. It's a uh, made-for-TV movie, and uh, it was directed by Tony Randall, who did uh, Hellraiser 2, and a film called Ticks, which was also uh, from uh, the 90s, um, which is actually getting a DVD release. So if you care about that, um, and didn't know, I guess now you know. I'm pretty sure it's getting a DVD release. Anyway, this film, uh, Rattled, follows a family of four, a mother, a uh, teenage daughter, um, you know, like 12 or so year old son. Uh, I'm not really good with ages, but guessing he's somewhere around there. Um, and a stepfather. Uh, they live in this uh, small community town, um, and uh, there's some blasting uh, going on up in the hills because they're, I forget what they said they was doing, um, but uh, they're, they're blasting away, um, you know, with dynamite and stuff. And uh, they basically open a uh, uh, den, I guess, of uh, rattlesnakes, a ton of rattlesnakes. And uh, these rattlesnakes are was hibernating, so they're a little bit pissed off, uh, pretty aggressive, and they're looking for a new den. Um... And uh, some of them are starting to move into the town. And uh, that's basically the, the plot, I guess. Um, there is some subplots dealing with the father and the, the, the kids, um, the stepfather. Uh, you know, with the teenage daughter, he has a pretty good relationship with. Uh, you know, she likes, she thinks he's a good guy and stuff. She, she, she likes him. However, this the stepson uh, isn't really feeling the dad, you know, kind of... Uh, you know, wants his mom to be with uh, his real dad, and uh, he, you know, you can't tell me what to do, stuff like that, you're not my real dad, um, which I've noticed to see a lot, I, I see a lot of that in, in 
um, 90s movies and, and TV shows. The whole um, I don't like my stepfather thing, even though he's kind of a good guy. Um, he's still not my real dad type thing. I, I don't know if there was a lot of uh, parents going through divorces um, during that time, but it seems that I see that a lot in the 90s, which gives it a, a little bit of a, you know, 90s uh, feel to it, which which is awesome. You know, also the way they dress and talk and uh, their hairstyles and stuff also gives it that really 90s feel, which is awesome to me. You know, I, I love seeing that stuff. It's pretty, like, nostalgic and stuff. Um, I grew up there, and uh, it, it's cool seeing that. And speaking of that, I was actually looking forward to watching the commercials, um, you know, because I recorded this off the TV, but I must have, you know, sat there and uh, stopped recording every time a commercial came on because uh, there was no commercials, which is pretty rare. Uh, I, I, I didn't really do that that often. Um, so, yeah. Um, anyway, back to the, the film. I'm getting sidetracked again. Um, yeah, so there's that subplot with the dad. I don't, I don't like the stepdad thing, but you know, the main story, it, it's a snake film. It's a, it's a scary snake film plays on your fear of snakes. If you have any, there's, there's some good moments of, 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 you know, terror, I guess, you know, fear of, of when people were, the, 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 the stepdaughter gets stuck in a bathroom with, uh, with a rattlesnake, which is, you know, pretty, pretty scary. I would be terrified. And, um, yeah, uh, the stepfather, I don't know if I said this, but it's actually William Catt, who uh, played Roger Cobb in House. Uh, and, uh, you know, the acting's pretty solid for a TV movie, I would say. Um, and another thing, I didn't see fake snakes. It seemed like all these snakes were real. I should note, though, that the VHS quality wasn't the greatest, so, you know, there could have been a fake snake right there, and I might not have noticed, but um, from what I've seen, looked pretty, pretty real. Um, I don't know if, you know, snakes would behave uh, the ways that they were in the films. I don't know a lot about snakes, so I don't know how realistic or true it sticks to snakes' behavior. Um, but, you know, it, nothing seemed too, uh, you know, crazy to, to, to buy. You know, there was some moments um, that, that may have been a little bit uh, exaggerated or something, but, you know, nothing too over the top or anything. Um... And, uh, yeah, so, uh, there's that. Um, the, the film overall, though, it's a cool TV movie, uh, about snakes. Um, brought back a lot of memories watching it. Uh, I remember watching this a few times when I was a kid, and, uh, it, it definitely, uh, brought back memories, and I really enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun watching it, um, and, uh, you know, I might be blinded by that nostalgic feel, but I would give it a three out of five. Um, it, it, it's... A pretty cool snake movie. I like snake movies, you know, especially real snakes, not CGI and stuff. Um, and uh, yeah, so uh, this film, the way you can watch it, it is on YouTube in parts. I, I did look that up, and um, but it's very bad quality. Um, it, at least to me, it seemed it seemed pretty bad. Uh, it was worse than my VHS uh, tape quality that I recorded off of the TV. Um, but you can buy this on VHS used on Amazon for around five bucks or something. Uh, might be worth it. Uh, maybe if you could find it used somewhere at a pawn shop or something on VHS, you might, you know, that would be worth picking it up. But anyway, uh, this video is going on long enough. Uh, just, just a cool experience I had today looking uh, for that movie and stuff. So um, I, I decided to share it with you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, leave me a comment if you've seen this movie. And uh, I'll see you guys later.